Savannah. It's a great name for a city. It is said that the city of Savannah was named for the Savannah River, which in turn was named for a variant nickname of the Shawnee tribe. The first recorded vessel named Savannah was a sloop, captained by John Somerville in 1763. The second recorded Savannah was an armed British ship, which operated locally in 1779 and was later sunk in the Savannah River. Following the British Savannah, there would be numerous Savannahs to follow, because as it turns out, Savannah is a great name for a ship, too. There have been at least 20 significant ships named Savannah, not to mention the countless tugboats, shrimping, and fishing vessels. Of those 20 or so vessels, two of them were groundbreaking merchant ships, the SS Savannah, the first steamship to cross the Atlantic Ocean, and the NS Savannah, the world's first and only nuclear-powered merchant ship. There were also several savannas which served in the Confederate Navy during the Civil War, three passenger cargo ships named City of Savannah, all of them flagships for the Ocean Steamship Company, and five commissioned U.S. Navy ships. My name is Wendy Melton, Curator of Ships of the Sea Maritime Museum. For this series, we will take a look at some of the famous savannas featured at the museum. I will be joined by two of our best interpreters to discuss the significance of these vessels to our maritime history and how they serve their great name well. So join us next time as we take a look at a little galley which provided coastal defense following the Revolutionary War. We will also feature a very special guest. Till then. <music>